It's Farm Friday, y'all. We got four houses to look at today, so let's get on to the first one. We're at our first property here. And this one's a three bedroom, one and three quarter baths, 2560 square feet. Let's take a look. All right, just walked inside the property and it is a split level. So we're gonna start upstairs. And at the top of the stairs, as you can see, it is an open concept living. Got these big picture windows here. Wood burning fireplace. Flowing into your dining area. And then your kitchen. And your kitchen has all cherry oak cabinets, granite countertops, and stainless steel appliances. This actually is a black stainless steel. And this one's white, so not stainless steel at all. Going down the hallway here, you're welcome into your full bath. Looks like there was some updates done, but they did miss out on this tile here. That can be easily changed out. Moving along into your primary bedroom. And this is a very large bedroom, to be honest with you. And then here is your primary bath, tiny shower. So what I would personally do is cut some of this bedroom out, make a larger shower, bathroom actually, holistically. And then uh, walk-in closet, possibly, and then just bump those out and make those into the actual bedroom. Bedroom number two here. Decently sized, but it is dark just because it's covered, that window's covered by the carport. Moving along, we're going to head downstairs. And downstairs has this lovely green carpet, as you can see. And to my left, you have, I don't know if this is, this is like a family room here. Goes out to your backyard, nice and flat. Has a hot tub out there. Then over here, Here's your utility room. Got an old, wow, look at that. Is that a TV? I think it is. Holy crap. Zenith TV. Washer and dryer. And then here's your furnace. So more of a utility room over there. But then over here, under stair storage, Here's another bedroom. Again, pretty dark just because of this only one window here. And then your water heater. So this was definitely a makeshift bedroom, I must say. And then over here is another family room, which I would definitely reconfigure this and make that area over there more of a family room and then just make that that area over there a bedroom so if anyone's interested in this property it's a three bedroom one and three quarter baths 2560 square foot home built in 1963 going for 749 800 in the upper rain of each area on to the next one guys All right we're at our next property here this one's three bedrooms one and three quarter baths, 1310 square feet. All right, so when you first walk in the property, you're welcome into your living space. As you can see, it is a very long floor plan. And I've actually been to this property before it was fully remodeled. So to my right, you have bedroom number one that does face the street. They did this pretty cool. So you have access. Got a vanity on both sides here, which is nice. Coming from bedroom number one, vanity, shower, 
vanity and bedroom number two. So basically you have like a little Jack and Jill thing going on here. And you also have access to the main living space. Not much room for a dining room, as you can see. Fridge goes there. You've got white shaker cabinets here and white appliances. We're gonna head downstairs now. I remember the downstairs is a little kind of wonky, so let's see if they change that as well. So downstairs, oh, they did change it a little bit. Downstairs, as you can see, get some lights on. Do, 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 there we go. You have this, these two pillars here holding the house up, but you have this little living area here that they've made. Furnace. Washer and dryer going here. It's going to be a smaller washer and dryer because this the depth of this is not ideal. Over here you have a wet bar. And then down here in this room here, this is your third bedroom. More light, thank you. Got a closet there, got a closet there. Tankless water heater. And then this just tells me it is the primary. So you do have your own primary bath on the lower level here, which is really nice. So they did change it up a little bit. I believe I remember the bedroom being over on this side over here. And then this is the door to go out back. And out back you do have a detached garage and then it looks like it's a two-car garage as well. So to alley access. That you possibly can turn into a detached dwelling unit. So if anyone's interested in this property, it's a three bedroom, one and three quarter baths. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, 1310 square foot home built in 1909, but as you see, it has been updated. Going for 719,950 in the Upper Rainer Beach area. On to the next one, guys. All right, so this is going to be our third and fourth tour for today. So the first one's going to be a one bedroom, one bath, 657 square feet, and then from there we'll be looking at a two bedroom, two bath, 1100 square feet. So. Let's check them out. All right, guys. So uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to look at both of the condos because the keys are missing out of both key boxes. This is what happens when you do not label your key box at a condo complex. People take both keys. They don't know what's going on. Uh, and so, yeah, we only had two today, unfortunately. So we will see you next week. And that's it for Farm Friday.